Hello and welcome. Today, as a part of me speaking about repentance, I felt uh, like sharing an experience that I had. Um, it's, um, it's a moment with the Lord and how the Lord was taking me through this season. Um, so it's, it's, um, it's about repenting and being aligned with the Lord, Lord mighty God, the why according to the word of God. So um, I want to start with this experience that I had. Um, I think it's uh, 2017 summer, summer of 2017. Uh, as I felt very strongly to take the book of Revelation and to read through the chapters and I started reading and as I went to chapter 1 to 2 to 3 as I read about the churches, the letters that was written to the churches uh, uh, by the Lord Jesus Christ himself and he was speaking to the churches uh, through the revelation that he gave John um, that the book of Revelation uh, consists of all the information of the last revelation uh, in, 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 the, um, in the Bible. So as I was reading and I had a moment and I felt, I felt the Lord Jesus Christ himself is standing beside me when I was reading. And as I was reading and I felt the Lord was speaking to me and I felt it is a moment that he said, if I come today, you will not make it. So I felt it's a warning, it's a warning, it's an awakening. And I am so thankful that the Lord did that to me because I uh, I always had a question. I know I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am saved. My sins are forgiven. And I know that um, in him there is everlasting life. And I know my... Um, I know by the faith and the word of God that when I die, I am in the safe place. But deep inside of me, I always longed for the assurance, being knowing uh, uh, about my salvation. Am I really being saved? Am I really uh, aligned to everything Jesus was teaching? And uh, inside of me, there was something that I always wanted. And I'm so so blessed that the Lord gave me a warning uh, in three years ago and when he said that it shocked me and I said God why, please tell me I thought I repented I, I did everything that I needed to do but Lord please teach me and it took me in a journey I started really reading the Bible uh, uh, in a way applying to my life and I'm, I'm not saying that I'm done and I'm perfect I am in this journey and I'll tell you uh, after this when I started repenting and going going before God taking the word of God and and allowing the word of God to speak to me and it was it was a good cleansing process that the Lord can do to us by sanctifying us by the word of God so uh, I am in this process and, and then uh, October 7, uh, 19, uh, sorry, 2017, um, the Lord gave me a dream and that's another amazing dream and I would say this is a dream about the rapture that is going to come and this dream is uh, also a preparation for the rapture to come and that's what the Lord was doing to me in my own life and as I uh, went through this process then he gave me this dream in that dream I was uh, sitting uh, in an open space uh, on a bench uh, outside uh, and then uh, suddenly like as I looked up I saw the heaven opened uh, heavens opened and four angels from four corners of heaven uh, they descended to the four corners of the earth like what do you you know what I mean by four corners I was able to see like in far end angels were released uh, so each one went to four corners of the earth and uh, as they went and I saw the one came 
and sat beside me and uh, that is in Edmonton, Canada. So I live uh, in Edmonton, Canada and I'm in an outside location and the angel came and sat beside me. And then I thought to myself, the angel of the Lord is here. Let me ask a question. So I had two questions that I asked him and I said, um, I want to know if my name is written in heaven. And then I also asked him, and, uh, and then he said, yes, your name is written in heaven. But I also asked him that whether Jesus loves me. And then the angel uh, kind of gave me a hug. It's not a hug, but I felt that you know, pat. And uh, he said uh, like, yes, he loves you. So I think it's the most <laughs> important, even though I have known that for the longest time and I needed to ask and I needed to get that uh, confirmation, um, though it sounds so funny, but I, I think that set me in a place. Um, as I go further, you will understand. So uh, these two questions, but the angel told me, your name is there written in heaven, but keep going in repentance and it will all be completed well. So, and also he said, it's in, in a little while longer to go. And if you go in repentance, you will come to the good end. So the, the, the thing that caught me is, and a little while more and it will all come to completion and and I need to keep going in repentance because in our life there's so many things would come and we will be discovering new things in the word of God and when we come and understand the word of God that's when it speaks to us and when we know oh this is the place that I need to be cleaned up I'm not there yet I'm still struggling in this area so I think it's a process until the completion and it's so beautiful like the promise of God yes your name is written in heaven but you have to keep going in repentance until it's all come to completion and when that come to completion that will be the end that will be the end um, for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and it's all going to be beautiful but the process we need to clean ourselves up so that we are not left behind. We are going with the Lord Jesus Christ. So this dream was so uh, very, very important to me personally. And I felt to share this today with you because I feel the preparation time has started. And uh, I, I, I hope that you will think about your own life and start having the conversation with the Lord uh, in whatever area that you need assurance. But once the angel left me, I was going and I'm calling people and telling them, look up. Because while the heaven opened, the angels descended, the heaven stayed open and I felt the activities of the heaven. And there were lots of things going on. Um, and these, I saw the angels, I saw the angels with trumpets flying from uh, like one side to the other, going from one side, it's flying means they're going at a speed. And then I also saw angels um, in a bright, gloomy, uh, uh, glowing, glowing brightness. So um, I felt there's something happening in the heavens and I felt the people needed to know that. And I, I was going and I'm waking up people uh, who are in buildings, in homes, they're sleeping and I'm waking them up and I'm telling them, look what's happening up, look up, something is happening. And nobody was listening to me, nobody was listening. And some of them who are my friends and they were saying, uh, just leave me alone, leave us alone, we need to sleep. And we have to wake up to go to work tomorrow. Uh, we can come and look what's going on up there and I was so disappointed and I was so heartbroken and uh, I just saw even the churches like they are not willing to see it but anyway I'm that scene finished and I was in another scene and now I'm sleeping on my bed and I was there um, looking up so I'm sleeping and I'm looking up and that's the position I was sleeping when I was seeing the dream uh, and then I was looking up and I was speaking in tongues and I was praying in tongues. 
and I was singing in tongues. There was a melody and um, I was singing so beautifully in tongues. And then, and I looked up and I heard the angels who were uh, going around in the heavens, they were singing the same melody of tongues that I was singing. So I felt I'm singing in tongues, but I'm hearing them singing the same. So we both are like everything I'm seeing is like matching with the heaven. And I thought it's a beautiful moment. I like it's a beautiful moment to know the angels sing with us when we pray in tongues, when we sing in tongues. And then as I kept on doing it, um, then I saw angels taking a huge scissors and they were like chopping something off uh, by the big scissors, like a big, big scissors, and they were chopping off something. And when they were chopping off, I felt the powers of darkness falling down like lightnings. And um, and I thought, oh my God, this is the power of speaking in tongues. And when you speak and pray in tongues, the angels get the instructions and then they do something with that. And I was so joyful. I woke up and I, I, I had a a beautiful dream that I felt that it is uh, something that it is going to happen in the future and we all need to be ready we need to align ourselves and um, uh, uh, and know the Lord Jesus Christ and be filled with the Holy Spirit and and take part with heaven even though we are on earth, we are supposed to take part in the heavenly activities. And that's why the Holy Spirit has been given to us. So, so this dream is like a preparation. Prepare the people because the rapture is going to happen. The coming of the Lord is going to happen. The heavens are going to be opened up, opened up and Jesus is going to come. The angels are going to be involved and it's going to be a, a, a moment and we need to prepare and we need to tell those who do not know and this is the revelation that I came out of this dream and as I felt that to share about repentance uh, in this uh, coming um, this uh, season that we are to align ourselves to the word of God and know what Jesus has done because why he corrects us and why he wants us because of his love because he does not want us to be left behind and he wants us to go where he is because he said I have I, I'm going and I'm preparing a place for you and I'm coming to take you but he wants us to uh, when he comes back he doesn't want us to be sleeping and in slumbering and not knowing what's going on it's very important for us to know um, what's going to happen and how we are supposed to be preparing and I think this time period is a time period that we need to get ready for um, for the for the new that God is going to do and also the new that God is going to do is he's preparing us to be ready when he comes back, we go with him. So, um, so I feel uh, you who are watching, uh, who who have already ha living in the faith, just uh, ask the Lord to reveal more things to you because we all we need to. The message that I got from this uh, dream, if the angel uh, spoke to me and said, I need to keep going in the repentance until it finishes well there's no other way because we are not perfect and we are in the fallen world we are attacked by every side it's very easy to fail to slip to sin um, so it's very easy like it's just it is there beside us but we need to wake up and go uh, where God wants us to go. So I felt this dream is very, very important for me. And if God did not speak to me when I was reading the book of Revelation, that if he comes that night, that I would have not made it in the rapture. So if we want, if Jesus Christ comes as promised in the Bible, um, as the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, there were prophecies in the Old Testament, in the Old Book uh, uh, of the Bible, the Old part of the Bible. They prophesied about Jesus Christ 
for 600 years and after 600 years Jesus came and when Jesus came he said he's going to come back and there were lots of things spoken about his coming back and now 2000 years have passed and there can be a suddenly a suddenly the heavens will open up there'll be a suddenly because as Jesus came he also went up he was lifted up to heaven and these things happened and they are true and there's proof for what happened in the past and what is promised that is prophesied of the Lord Jesus Christ and it is going to happen too so I want to uh, give this dream to you like uh, and also what the Lord spoke to me before the dream so I was preparing myself and in few months after he showed me okay your book is there but you have to keep going in repentance um, and uh, uh, we will always be blessed because repentance is a beautiful thing when we go before God and we say we are sorry for those things that sometimes we do things we don't know why we are doing but we we you know uh, we think we have no other way but the blood of Jesus has paid the price for you and me we can be free and 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 think about it a free um, from every sin, free from every trap, free from every bondage, free from everything that is holding us uh, to not coming to the life that Jesus has promised. The life that he has given us is the reverse of living water because when his presence comes, the water, it's like water, like where many people like to go on uh, vacations and trips and enjoy the water, the beach, the river, uh, and it just refreshes you. And people say that, oh, it's so good. We felt peace and we felt good. We enjoyed. This is the best time of our life but my dear friends that I want to tell you those moments last only for the week that you're there or a month that you're there and when you come back you're dealing with your life again but the river that the Jesus himself is giving us that is the river of life that he gives us in him by him dying on the cross and setting us free by washing us by the blood um, and setting us free from all the sins um, that river stays with you all the days of your life and that is a refreshing joy that it gives you and even me like I love going on vacation I used to go and always make travel plans and I travel and my I made a thing to go and see all the countries of the world and I enjoyed it's beautiful it's so nice but when I come back I am I am still the same person and everything is I have to deal with life after that but that moment of joy and happiness is gone and I, that has been uh, a while before I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ. It was my my thing that going on vacation and planning my vacations are the beautiful thing for me. But when I encountered the Lord Jesus Christ, I never had the thirst to go on vacation uh, for for joy, for peace. I love to still go see the places in the world, experience different cultures, but. I know because I have tasted and seen that thing that fills me and it is there with me wherever I am and I didn't have I don't have to go to a water site or a peaceful site because the Jesus himself is my everything he's my refreshing river of joy the river of love river of peace and I can just call upon him and have that wherever I am even in a worst of the worst circumstances I can be joyful because I know the one who can give me the river of life and also the Bible says there was a woman that Jesus met at the well and and she was taking water but Jesus said if you drink this water that I give you you will never thirst again and I know what that means because when you drink the water of Jesus Christ then you will never have wanting to do things to fill you because you will not have that thirst of course you will go places or you will take water but 
it's inside of you a joy river of joy river of peace regardless regardless of how your circumstances are um, how bad the surroundings are the river of joy the river of love and you can live in that place and this is a beautiful thing so i want to bless you with this revelation that god has given me and i pray in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus i pray god everyone who is watching be touched by your rivers of living water let your presence fill let the train of your garment fill these households who are watching today Whenever they are watching God, Father, I pray that, that you will fill them with your Holy Spirit and fire and let them be set free. And Lord, I also pray that they will come and align to the assurance of uh, the salvation and the everlasting life with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, let this day, let this day be the day of freedom. Let this day be the day of drinking from the water that you have for us, Lord. Father, I bless my friends, my um, uh, uh, dear friends and those who are watching father I pray that that you bless them supernaturally and let them enjoy this river that you are releasing today in the name of Jesus amen amen thank you for watching I appreciate all of you and all your comments have a blessed day